Hi everyone, this is Aki Magneto and um, right now we are going to work on the members area. Now that means we are going to make sure all these forms work. Uh, we are going to make sure they work. So I want you to follow as I take you through the procedures one after the other. Now what you need to do is to uh, look for your uh, go to your htdocs, fetch your member page, launch it in your you know text editor and uh, do some changes now we need to do some changes to this form now this form we are going to have some things uh, mine it's uh, line 52 so check for yours I don't know what yours might be now add row the row will be form sorry form then um, action you can leave it empty since the action since the form will be inside uh, inside his uh, page um, method don't let us forget is post now once you do that we need to assign some things to this we need to assign ID and we need to assign a name we need to assign ID and name to everything ID and a name ID and name likewise this ID and a name good and this we are going to add a name to this as well okay now um now let's fill in the name the best thing we need to do is just to make it as simple as anything Write the same thing here. Username. Oh uh, here. It's gonna be a uh, quality. Yeah. Quality. Same thing here. Quality. Yeah. Quality. Quality. Sorry. Quantity. This is a quantity, quantity, okay, now this is a date, and this is also a date, now here the name of this is going to be submit, submit button, so now once you've done this, you can check your page, though you won't see any effect for now but um, you know it's gonna return itself back to the page but now the next thing we need to do is to create uh, a table inside our existing database now that means uh, we we can still make use of our database but we need to create another table now let's, let's call the table orders and we need uh, five columns now go now follow me as I do user ID user ID uh, gonna make it integer length 10 auto increment yeah now the next one is a username integer no let's use voucher um, you can set it as 50 the next one is uh, quality can use Vacha 50 quantity you can use this as Vacha can make it um, you can make this 100 you can make this also 100 this is date you can make it Vacha so that Okay, so once you true, just click on save. Now, this is the uh, table orders. This is the structure. If you want, to. now our database name is Lane. Our table is orders. So it's possible for you to have more than twenty tables inside one database. But what matter most is for you to connect to the right one. Now, the next thing we need to create a file to connect to our database, and. Uh, the file name let's create a file name 
uh, the file name let's say first let's call it uh, connect iPhone DB dot PHP connect iPhone DB dot PHP now let's create our connection file the first thing is to create a PHP syntax then you declare your variables server I'm using another method so as to teach you server user and uh, password and the db that means database okay now let's insert our values server will be localhost localhost user it's a um, root password you leave it empty the db is still lame since we are using the same uh, database but now this adjust variable declaration we need to create the actual connection but i'm going to create a um, sorry connection um my sql connect now uh, i need to spell out some uh, the variables earlier de uh, earlier declared server comma user comma and uh, pass comma now or that means if uh, there's an error if the three cannot be accessed then or die good but you need to insert some values in it okay i'm going to cook at it i'm going to cook at it so uh, i'm going to concatenate this but we need to put something in inside um, or die um, let's say could not since these are literals so could not connect to server server okay um, let's say new line okay okay my SQL error Okay. Uh, yeah. A semicolon. Okay. Now the next line is um. Let's select the database. My um, SQL. Select. Select DB. Okay. Or well, DB name it's already declared. I mean, we've stored the value of the name inside the variable declared, which is a uh, DB. Okay. So. Uh, you can do the same thing copy this and um, paste here yeah. could not connect to sir to uh, sorry that's changes to could, uh, could not connect to database database sorry could not connect to database not server because this is the line for the server this is the line for the database sorry this is the one for the database so um what we need to do right now is um uh think okay let's check now let's check this file on our let's say local or slam connect iphone db the php okay if there is an error it will declare that there is an error here that means uh, it's successful it's successful so what we need to do is uh, just to um make sure that uh, we move to the next uh, line by uh, making sure these firms work now i'm meeting the next video for this thank you